Now, before we go too far, I want to go and put in a uh, some middleware so that you have to be logged in in order to uh, access a particular route. So this route to get to the user's uh, management dashboard. So we'll go back out to routes, web, and under here we'll go middleware. We're going to create some of our own middleware as well, but for this one, we're just going to use the built-in ones that are provided to us through Laravel, and that would be web and auth. So basically, you can't view this unless you're logged in. All right, so that out of the way, we'll go back to our index file here, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a view component. So this section is going to be about setting up our view component, uh, and going into the various files that we have to access in order to create this component. If you're not familiar with Vue, don't worry, I am going to go slow. Uh, a lot of the setup is already done for us with Laravel and all of the uh, scaffolding that we've already done from the first uh, video that initiated the project setup. So here I'm going to say users-management-dashboard. That's going to be the name of our particular component. Now I'm going to go to the app.js uh, file under resources. And at the bottom here, I'm going to create a component. So I still have to create a file that it's going to access. And I'm going to go, so what did we call that component name? Users Management Dashboard. So that has to match what you have here. Users Management Dashboard. All right. And then we're going to require that file in. And it's going to be through components. Still going to have to create the file. Uh, users. And we're going to say uh, users management dashboard dot view. And then we'll add default to the end of that. That is, that is key. Now let's go ahead and create that file. So components, we need to add a folder here for users. And then it needs to be users management dashboard. So new file is going to be users management dashboard dot view. And then in here we have to put in each file template and view. Oops. Okay. Sorry, that's not right. Template, we'll go template, and then we need to have div in there as well. Now the rest of the component initiates from here. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to our index.blade.php file. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of this out. And I'm going to put that in here. Now if we go back to the page, uh, we're actually going to run into uh, an error in particular. So let's go back to our browser. Okay, so we don't get anything from this. And F12 view is throwing us a warning. So users management dashboard, did you register the component correctly? So the, the problem we run into here is we haven't uh, actually compiled our views. And so how you do that is, uh, we'll come back here. We're just gonna run this job so it stays on the whole time we're developing. And it's npm run watch. And what that's going to do is it's going to compile all of the JavaScript files that we're calling in app.js and in bootstrap.js. And compile it. So it looks like it's compiled successfully. Now we're going to go back to this page here. We'll refresh. And you can see we now have managed users in there. One other thing, kind of in the vein of middleware that I want to go through, is users. I only want administrators being able to access this up here. So this is going to require that we do a little bit of a rewrite of uh, the app.blade.php. And in here, we're going to use a blade directive, and it's going to be at if. Everything's going to have to be put in here. And we're going to I'll go like this. We're going to have to basically pull in the authenticated user. So this pulls in the uh, this basically pulls in the um, the current user that's logged in, and we need to check and make sure that the role 
is equal to admin. Now we could do it this way, and it does, you know, it's still fine, it makes sense this way. But where I like to put these little checks that return true or false is in their own method within the user model. So let's go visit the user model. Right now, all your models are in under the app folder. The user model will be in the main hierarchy there, but all the other subsequent models that we create, like user logs, are going to be in a models directory. But we leave user in here. We don't need to basically mess with anything. One thing we need to put in here as well is going to be our user role. Uh, that needs to be fillable from our forms. And the other thing we need to put in here is uh, a public function to check if the person is an administrator. So we'll say is admin. And all we want to do is all the database records are getting for this particular user are getting pulled into their own object, which is basically ORM is object relational management. So we can now access all of the properties within our table as though it were an object property. So in this case, because we're in the object, we can use the this keyword. So first of all, we're going to say return dollar sign this, the record in the database of role, and we want to make sure that that role is actually equal to admin. If it is, it's going to return true. So is admin false? They're not going to see that. Is admin true? They're going to see that. So let's go back to our app.play.php file. Is admin in there. Perfect. So if they're not administrator, and you'll see this down the line, they won't be able to access that. So let's go back to our page here, make sure nothing has been negatively affected. And just to show you this in action, we can also, I can also do like this. I could say, okay, well, if they're not administrator, then they can access it. And that's just to show you that that now disappears. Okay. Okay, so we're good. We're good with that one, which is awesome. Okay, now we can start actually building out our uh, table and our component and retrieving data for uh, for our users management table in here or our dashboard in here.